Welcome everyone and thank you very much for joining me here on IPO Market Watch. My name is Mike and if you're new, consider hitting the subscribe button because in this uh, on this uh, YouTube channel, I don't cover just IPOs, I cover also stocks already trading on the market, everything in the market, right? But for this video, focusing on this video, it will be just for an IPO. It's going to be for Kinder Care Learning Companies Incorporation, ticker symbol KLC. Uh, and, and as you can see, the price range, guys, is going to be 23 to 27 US dollars. They're going to offer 24 million shares, deal size 600 million. They're going public on October 9, 2024. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the company, show you the finances, and at the end of the video, I will tell you whether I would personally buy it and invest in this or not. So guys, this is actually not a new company. It's a very well-established American company. It's been around for 55 years. It's one of the biggest players in the child care services in the United States. It has 1,500 centers and it serves children anywhere from six to 12 years old. But in 2015, this company was bought out by uh, Partners Group Incorporation, right? And they're now bringing them public. And I'll explain at the end what that means for me. Kinder Care Learning Companies is the largest private provider of high quality early childhood education in the United States. Their mission driven organization rooted in commitment to providing all children with very best start in life. Now, one thing that does make me wonder, and it's not something imminent, but sometimes you like, you, th you think about it and it kind of like bothers you. Uh, I'm, I'm a parent, right? I'm married and I have two kids. But I noticed that most people now, most young people, they don't want to get married. I really don't know what the reason is, but most young people that I meet and know, they just don't want to get married. Some say they can't find a person they can trust. Others say, I don't want to, I want to live my life. And then I think about also vloggers. There's many vloggers on YouTube who aren't married and, you know, showing off constantly a you know, the life uh, luxury that they're living with their YouTube videos, like, you know, a day in my life, a week in my life, a month in my life, my life, this, I, this, I, that. And I don't know if that affects people. Let me know in the comment section below. Now the White House, if you like the current administration or not, on April 17, 2024, came out with this, which is called seven facts about the economics of childcare. Childcare prices versus all prices. And we're just going to focus on child care prices from 2000 to 2024. They're constantly increasing like crazy. Also, look at this average annual expenses on formal child care as a share of income. This is extremely interesting. Did you know that people who make under twenty five thousand dollars are the ones who are paying for more child care? So the blue families paying for care, families receiving care like subsidized uh, care, right? So under $25,000 re uh, revenue, families with that kind of income, household income, look at that. They're beating everybody else in paying for childcare. And it's, and it's pretty much the trend like that. So the more money you make, the less families are paying for childcare. And here from $150,000 uh, household income or above, not, ma not many are paying for uh, childcare. Now, this could be three uh, ways I can think about it. Maybe the super rich are, you know, I don't know. The wives are great. They're such, you know, caring mothers that they're, you know, stay at home and they cook and they bake and they, you know, uh, hang out with their kids and teach them things. Maybe, <laughs> probably not. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe most uh, super rich um, wives are, they ask from their husband to make a statue of her and put it on the front of the super yacht. All right, so going to kinder care uh, revenue. Look at the kinder care revenue from 2021, 2023 growing, right? Healthy, beautiful, $2.5 billion. The gross profit, nice and healthy, growing. Looking at the free cash flow, awesome. That's what we wanna look at. We wanna see steady growth. Net income is up and down, but at least it's positive at 102 million. The cash and cash equivalents are 156. It's good, it's positive, but I would have liked it to be more than that. Overall, do I think that kinder care learning companies is an IPO to buy? Is it? Um, I won't. I will stay out of it. I think it's overpriced. It's probably going to go public, not at 23, but not even between that. I think it's going to go public at 27. Also, the fact that Partners Group bought them out in 2015 and is now bringing them public as an IPO tells me that they want to cash in on this investment they made back in 2015. There's going to be shares sold at some point, and I don't want to take part in that. 
Let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong or right. And I wish you guys all the best. Take care.